we're going to discuss an opportunity tonight. Big opportunity. You should know how to evaluate an opportunity. Look at the viability of the opportunity again back to the products or services being offered and the relevance of those. Is there a market for such thing or for such a thing? Then you ask yourself, can I, can me personally, can I make money in this opportunity? So as I progress through the presentation today here, I want you to keep those things in mind, just in the back of your mind, and, and just have them always present as I'm speaking about certain things within the opportunity, because this is a multifaceted opportunity. So we are ERS, Elite Realty Services, and, and what we have created is a system which provides people simply a better way to do business. So we operate in in four industries our top industries real estate mortgage and insurance and then we have home services as well which includes a strong focus right now on solar under our elite solar entity within that division real estate is obviously a it's a very very large industry as a matter of fact if you filled a room up with a hundred millionaires you ask them how many of you made your money in real estate or finance you probably have 96% would actually raise their hands. This is a money-making industry, and we do it very well. Mortgage, we do real estate, residential and commercial real estate. The same thing with mortgage. We do residential mortgage. We have a strong focus on reverse mortgage right now, which pays a lot. But also we do commercial finance, which is the commercial end of the mortgage industry. We provide business owners the capital they need for expansion, property, commercial property acquisition, refinance, etc., etc. Insurance, we have a very robust insurance program. We have our own IMO called ERS Life. We specialize in life, but we do have PNC. We have health and wellness. And you don't even have to be licensed for some of the wellness uh, opportunity there. Um, but we really focus our insurance in a way that it provides a better product than the average insurance company. Our home services division is the next greatest thing. We're catching the wave here. Uh, we think we're ahead of the wave with solar. Pretty soon solar panels or solar systems, photovoltaic panels on the roofs of homes is going to be as common as the cell phone. So that is how we service our client. Let's talk about how that relates to you the industries of ERS and you. So in real estate, just like mortgage, just like insurance, and in our home services division, as you'll find, we're a great place to work. If you want to come here and just be a top producing licensee or agent producer in any of these four multi-trillion dollar market spaces, multi-trillion. So we're talking about not one, but three multi-trillion dollar industries and home services, as I said, with solar will be there very shortly. So our company is great. We pay top commission payouts for producers. We have incredible support as a company for those producers or for those who, ende who endeavor to be top producers in their field. We have a mentorship program. We're not leaving anybody hanging out there. Um, we make sure that our agents are productive. If you're not productive at ERS, then you must simply not want to be. We have extensive free training. We have hours and hours of archived video training. We do a lot of our training at the corporate facility, but we broadcast it live via webinar. It's for mortgage, for insurance training, for our real estate training, for our home services and solar training. Our training is extensive, very comprehensive, and always free. No desk fees. You want to be a, a real estate agent with another company such as Keller Williams, for example. They feed their agents to death, as we say. Desk fees, copier fees, phone fees, fax fees, tech fees just fees and fees and fees. We have outstanding and comprehensive tech. The tech system we use, we're gonna get into that a little bit later, it's called Conversion with a K, spelled K-U-N, Conversion, and it is an outstanding CRM and back office system for you to build, maintain a database, message appropriately to that database, be able to categorize them. A lot of automation in this tech. It's a great site for real estate agents and mortgage professionals. And as you see on the screen, we give our agents simply the ability to do more. So if you want to come here and produce in real estate, you can do that. But you can also produce in real estate and mortgage. If you have an insurance license, you can produce in insurance. Uh, you can produce in home services. We give you, as an individual producer, the ability to do more. You can't 
do that anywhere else. The, the, what, what I'm presenting here is just quite simply, you're not able to do it at any other company. If you're with Coldwell Banker, uh, Lion, Century 21, great companies, any of those companies, if you go there, you cannot do mortgage. You can only do real estate. If you go to Comstock or Paramount or Wells Fargo or some of these other mortgage companies, you can only do mortgage. Insurance, the same way. You go to an insurance brokerage where you're with Nationwide or Farmers, you're doing insurance and insurance only. Only. So that's important to note that at ERS, part of the opportunity, one of the things that clearly makes us unique is the fact that you can come here and do much, much more than simply one thing. I'm going to break down the things that we do, these multi-trillion dollar spaces that we operate in as a company and operate very well. We thrive in these. So let's talk about real estate, our real estate program. As I said before, we do residential and commercial real estate. Elite has been in the real estate business for over 20 years. This is not a new company, folks. We've been around for quite a while. Our broker and founder, Robert Doe, got his broker's license when he was 19 years old. This business, uh, this company has been around. Now, this business model and the DBA we're operating under, ERS, or Elite Realty Services, that's a new model. It's a new opportunity that we're putting out there. But uh, the parent company, Elite NorCal, the real estate corporation, has been around for over 20 years. The combined experience, remember what I said, think about as you're evaluating this opportunity, think, ask yourself who's involved, what other persons, what is the quality or caliber of leadership and management, ownership. Combined experience and top leadership in this room alone exceeds 100 years. Vast experience, these years of experience and expertise are all brought to bear in full service for our clients, but also for our agents. The mortgage industry, our mortgage division, Elite Mortgage, is a separate division of the company, but we do mortgage. We do residential and commercial finance, as I said. And again, as with the real estate end of the business, Elite has been in the mortgage business for over 20 years. Again, our, our founder uh, and CEO, Robert Doe himself, very reachable and approachable. He built his prior mortgage company, Global One Mortgage, to over 7,000 loan officers. He had offices literally coast to coast from Hawaii to Virginia. Elite Mortgage is right now the areas, our local area here in this, the greater Sacramento area, we're actually the area's low price leader in residential mortgage. As I said, we have our own uh, insurance IMO, ERS Life. We do PNC, which is property and casualty. Makes sense with a real estate and mortgage corporation because every single deal, every single transaction or escrow that closes cannot do so without a PNC policy. As I said, we do health and wellness and life. All real estate and mortgage transactions, as I just commented, require PNC in order to close. Health and corporate wellness products for 50 plus companies with the new Obamacare initiatives. Um, the reality is that corporations that have 50 plus employees are mandated to have a certain type of coverage and package, and we sell that. Those are huge commissions. If you're an insurance agent, that should excite you because those are massive commissions. And then putting it together, call it synergy, if you will. And this, this is something that I'm going to speak on extensively as I go through the presentation, the synergy of all the other industries. So if you're an, insur an insurance agent, what better way um, or what better division to rub elbows with than our commercial finance division as they're out there talking to corporations and business owners literally every day. We have all of these opportunities that kind of cross promote our different industries or our different professionals or licensees or different divisions and we're complementing one another and generating business together. Very important, very powerful aspect of the ERS model. Our life insurance products are structured with skill to service true investment and retirement vehicles. This is something that I cannot put enough emphasis on or that you must not overlook. I cannot overstate it. However, I can say it. It's extremely important. The reality is we're not just selling death benefit insurance here. Our guys and gals are trained extensively and they understand tax law. They understand how to use the IUL to actually use as an investment and in retirement vehicle instead of just a death benefit insurance. We're talking about living benefits. Just something if, again, again, I'm not an insurance guy, but like I said, if you have an insurance license or if that's something you wish to pursue, then as I said before, this is something you should be very, very excited about. Home services, new division for us, but we have jumped in full bore and our focus right now is with solar. 
solar installation for homes and businesses. Elite Solar is a company in our ERS Home Services division. As I said, it's our primary focus right now. Just an enormous, enormous money-making opportunity. It's a non-licensed division. ERS Home Services is much more than, than solar. Plans uh, in the short term are to expand immediately into home security, alarm systems, smart home tech, etc. It's just, as I said a second ago, an incredible opportunity to be productive, to be a producer, a top producer, but in a non-licensed division folks so if you want to be a real estate agent an insurance agent a loan officer they take varying times to acquire that license and there's certainly cost associated with that uh, for real estate it can be a couple thousand dollars just to get started with your dues and your education your fees and so forth mortgage less but still it's a time and cost intensive process so these are things that you have to think about if you want to get involved with one of our licensed divisions however home services you can start that right now as a matter of fact let's say that you have a desire and a goal to be a real estate agent get your real estate license we can facilitate that with our pre-licensing programs but in the meantime how about making some money in home services it's something you can start right now and you don't have to get a license to do so elite solar agents can earn, not to put another company down, but just so that you have an actual perspective comparison, uh, Elite Solar Agents can earn two to four times more than Solar City salespersons for one third the work. We're paying in home services for a simple handoff. You develop an interest with a, with a homeowner or a property, commercial property owner, if they're interested in understanding how they can use solar to save or reduce their average monthly energy cost by up to 40 percent and they'd like to hear a little bit more about that you hand off that contact to the office to a CFT or certified field trainer in our home services division and you get paid substantially if that deal closes so we talked about the ERS industries we covered that so let's jump to the ERS business model this is our business model it's TLC as we call it the total living concept. It is unique to this industry, but certainly not to business. So let me explain that. ERS employs uh, the TLC. It's a model very similar to the auto industry. And this is where our founder, Robert Doe, just hit pay dirt and, and genius and, and just brilliant, brilliance. To say that he looked at the auto industry and looked at the real estate mortgage and, and, and finance and, and insurance industry and looked at what they were doing, looked at what we were not doing. And it's not just our company. Company, we're talking about the industry what the industries were not doing these multi-trillion dollar industries hadn't figured out this simple connectivity between services so let me use the auto industry when you go buy a car what do you do you see the car in the lot maybe it's a, a Porsche maybe it's a cherry Mustang maybe it's a, a used Benz in great condition uh, what's the first thing they do once you identify that you want that car, they take you in the back, you talk to the finance guy. Automatic. Qualify for the loan. You're going to leave there with the car, but I assure you before you do, they're going to sell you your insurance rider or policy because you have to have that to drive the car off the lot. You're going to get that done right there. You're going to get a service contract. You're going to be sold possibly roadside services or something of that nature, a contract like that. And you're definitely going to probably leave with a warranty. So let's think about that. In the real estate mortgage and insurance industry, we don't do that, particularly in a real estate mortgage. For whatever reason, someone walks into our real estate office or any real estate office USA and they want to buy a home. Well, to buy a home, you've got to qualify for the mortgage. Well, what do we do? We send them down the street, around the corner to our preferred loan officer. Wow, they need insurance. We send them the other direction to our preferred insurance agent for the PNC policy to close. What kind of sense does that make? We don't, we can't understand why or how such huge industries as real estate and mortgage or finance have missed the boat so significantly in this regard. Back to the auto uh, analogy again. What if you identified that car and they sent you, said, hey, look, you know what? Can you go, go back? It's our preferred finance guy. He'll get you the loan to get the car. Now, when you come back, when you, the, that pre-approval letter, I need to see that. And then, you know, when you get back, I'll give you some water. I know it's hot outside and I'm going to send you down the street so you can get um, the insurance that you're going to need to drive this car off this lot. So that's what we do in the real estate and mortgage industry. And how asinine is that? Um, when you think about it, what if that uh, 
car buyer uh, between the uh, dealership they're at and the, the loan officer they're being sent to, they're going to pass two more car lots. And they might see a better car. They might have a guy offer them a better deal on that lot for the same car. It just doesn't make sense that the real estate industry, that the mortgage industry, again, multi-trillion dollar industries have not figured this out, have dropped the ball, missed the boat on this so significantly, as I said. So that's where we come in with our uniqueness, our TLC concept. We believe that the person that walks in our door, that wants to buy that perfect home, they've got to find the most affordable loan to do so, the loan that makes sense for them and we can facilitate that. They need to protect that home with the PNC, the insurance policy required to close escrow. Protect the lifestyle of the family. What does that mean? Let's, let me stop for a second. What does that mean? So. Again, as I said, it's about synergy with, within our divisions and, and connectivity between our divisions. So most people say that they're going to buy a home, it's going to be the biggest asset or they'll ever acquire or the biggest investment they'll ever make in their lives. The reality is, and the way we like to correct people, is that it's probably the most significant debt that most folks will ever acquire in their lifetime. So how do you then protect your family, your heirs, your children, your loved ones from or against that massive debt in the event of, in the event that something should happen to you? You don't have to die, but let's say you are injured significantly to where you can't work. You are you have a stroke, but you're alive, but you can't work. So you can't support the family in the way or in the manner that you were able to before. Well, our products with living benefits solve that problem. It's the new type of mortgage protection. There you have it. That's the total living concept or TLC. This is the ERS business model. And as I said, it's not unique to business, but it's certainly unique to this industry. We are revolutionizing these industries. Again, like I said before, when I was talking about what we do, the industries we operate in, the market spaces, I'm talking about something that we do here that you cannot do elsewhere. So we've covered the industries. We've now explained, I've explained the uh, ERS business model, the TLC. So let's talk about the opportunity. As I said when I opened, we are here, boy, we are here to talk about one incredible opportunity, the ERS opportunity, ABO. It's about what will be your best fit. This is, as, as I said in the beginning, a very multifaceted business opportunity. We've got money everywhere. We operate in three multi-trillion dollar spaces and the fourth space, home services and solar, is destined to absolutely, in the short and midterm, be the next greatest thing, period, hands down. So figure out where you fit. From this point on, as I discuss the opportunity, I want you to think about what will be your best fit. So the ABO system, this is the opportunity. The opportunity is our business system ABO agent you can come here and be a productive agent as I said I believe I explained it pretty thoroughly you can be a super productive top producing agent here in home services in real estate in insurance or in mortgage commercial or residential and we have the apparatus the structure the systems the infrastructure to support and facilitate that growth and that potential in you to be a top producing agent in any of those four spaces within our company the B in our ABO system is the builder and then we provide a very distinct and clear path for you to follow to be owners if you want to own a Coldwell Banker and, and again back to Robert Doe our founder not only did he own Coldwell Bankers he owned I believe 16 offices he had 800 real estate agents in the Coldwell Banker system he was one of the most productive Coldwell Banker operators or franchisees in the system period hands down and he did that in a relatively short period of time think about it. if you wanted to own a Coldwell Banker office as 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 Mr. Doe did the reality is that's probably not going to happen for you depending who you are or where you're starting from of course that reality can shift in percentages but the reality that I'm speaking of is that you probably won't well at ERS our opportunity our ABO system includes a very real opportunity for you to be an owner in our system as I am so let's talk about the A, agent. We offer pre-licensing programs. So if you're not an agent right now, or if you don't hold the license in real estate, uh, any of the divisions that we have that require a license, real estate, mortgage, or insurance, we can facilitate that. We have pre-licensing programs to get you licensed in either of those three categories, to get you licensed. 
We have post licensing training. We offer agents the best training so they can become productive agents. Let me explain. And I used to teach the class uh, with Century 21. I used to. You're going to get your license. You learn the language of real estate, but by no means do you learn how to go out in the world and be a productive real estate agent. The same thing with the mortgage pre-licensing programs, and absolutely the same thing with the insurance programs. So what we do is we help you get that license. We can facilitate that. But what's more important, or most important, is what comes after you get your license. And we have free training, comprehensive, extensive training, so that you can come here and be the best agent in any one of these categories that you can possibly be. We provide our agents with superior lead generation, lead capture, CRM, which is client relationship management, and PPC, pay-per-click technology. We use a system, as I said, called Conversion, spelled with a K, K-U-N. Conversion is an absolutely brilliant CRM software platform. So our three Gs at ERS, we work to do this. This is our commitment to you. We will get you licensed, get you trained, and get you productive. So I want to pause for just a second. I'm actually an author, but I'm an avid reader as well. And one of my favorite business books is called The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. I believe as an entrepreneur, I believe as a business person that's trying to build a business, you must have a reading list. You must have a priority and a commitment to self-development and self-improvement. The best way I know how to do that is through reading appropriate books. There are many things that I take away from The E-Myth. One of the, I think, three primary things, uh, primary takeaways I, for me personally for The E-Myth is understanding the difference between working in and working on your business. That is the thing that I most closely relate from that book to the ERS opportunity because the real opportunity at ERS lies within the latter, not the former. It's the ability to work on your business and grow your business. One of the other great takeaways for me was understanding the difference between working in and working on your business. Just because you have the ability to do something, create something, make something, deliver a product or service, doesn't mean that you have the skill set to operate or run a business that sells those products or services and that's very important so again the e-myth by Michael Gerber if you want to be in real estate or sales another book I recommend is the millionaire real estate agent by Gary Keller so let's talk about the builder the B this is really where the ERS opportunity takes flight. Establish true legacy via passive residual income. True legacy extends beyond you. So let's talk about what a builder does. A builder earns like a broker. How do, what does that mean? How does a broker earn? Well, uh, a broker builds a team of agents. When they close transactions, the broker gets paid. So we give you the ability here at ERS to be a builder. We give you the ability to build your team of realtors, loan officers, insurance agents, solar agents, commercial finance advisors, and earn from them when they close, just like a broker does. We give you the ability to do this without the overhead and liability or quota or any of the typical headaches of being a broker slash owner and still retain all of the great benefits of being a broker, building a team, providing leadership and mentorship for your team members, and most importantly, earning from them when they produce. No experience needed. Time is your own. These are industries where you put in what you can, what you want to. You can have commitment to this, which is part-time, sometime, or full-time. You can build nationwide. The, the opportunity here with ERS is unlimited. You build a team, you're earning overrides, passive residual income from these people uh, that are on your team. They're out there in the marketplace conducting licensed activities with their licenses. And I love this one, the O, the owner. ERS offers uh, would-be owners a turnkey system with no franchise fees. We're giving you a turnkey system to be an owner, to open up a new territory for our company, help us grow and grow yourself, build a team within that office, and we're a network. We're a branchise system, as we like to call it, not a franchise system. So that means other owners, other leaders, other builders throughout the network in our company are placing agents and placing people in your office from which you earn from. So they're building their teams in your office. Uh, my wife and I own the Elk Grove branch, but we have a few other branches that are in our downline where our team members that we've had have grown their teams and realized the dream of owning their own ERS locations. And they went out and did it. Those offices and the members or agents or producers in those offices are in our downline. They're on our team, my wife and I. So we earn from that. We're going to encourage that type of growth, of course, at all times because it benefits everybody. 
there is no limit. Right now, we're in California. We have Renton, a couple of other areas in Washington and Oregon up north, the Pacific North Coast. True ownership with the ability to expand nationwide, unlimited territory. So let's talk about the compensation. Uh, what does the builder owner compensation plan look like? We're the ABO system. That's our business system. A for agent. You know how the agent gets paid. You produce, you get paid. You don't produce, you don't get paid. If you're home sitting on your couch, it's pretty hard to earn money if you're merely an agent. You can't earn that money if you're a builder though. So let's talk about how it breaks down. Let's say that a real estate transaction closes, and I'll just use real estate ex as an example because that's my specialty, but this applies across the board. So let's say a real estate agent closes a deal. Agent Bob closes a transaction which results in a $10,000 GCI or gross commission income. That's the money that the broker gets as a result of the closing. Now the agent, you see the A there highlighted in green, earns their retention contract or contract level of that $10,000. So on this graphic, we're talking hypothetically about an agent who's on a 70% split. That means they have a 70% retention contract, 70-30. So the agent gets 70%, that means the broker gets 30%. So in this deal, that would be 7000 and 3000 As I said, we don't fee our agents to death like some of the other agencies do. Our fees are only transactional, and there are only two of them. Two. E&O, $132 per transaction, and a 2% compliance and audit fee, which is actually a way to get in the mandated workers' comp at 2%. It's a nominal fee, folks. I mean, we're talking about $20 per thousand. So in this example, it'd be another $140 reduction. The rest is the agent's net take-home pay. So as I said, the the gross company profit in this hypothetical with the agent at a 70% contract level would be $3,000. And since we do not fee our agents to death at the branch level, they are using resources. They are in the office. The branch does incur overhead expense as a result of the agents working out of that office. I can attest to that personally. So this is the corporation's way of reimbursing the branch for some of the expenses, the overhead that uh, expense that's incurred, but not drawn or drained from the agent's commission. It's just a 20% off the top of company dollar, not agent dollar, company dollar. So in this hypothetical, that 20% reduction would be $600 to the branch. Watch down at the bottom here, we're gonna keep a running total of uh, the branch payout. Um, I want you to understand that we're talking about the pay for builder and owner in this uh, slide. So that $600 reduction for the overhead reimbursement to the branch um, results in a new adjusted gross company dollar of $2,400. That $2,400 is split, divided in half, it's divided equally. $1,200 of it, half of it goes to the builder's profit share payout, or what we call the bonus pool. This is where the override and the passive income is earned by the builder. So depending where you are in the hierarchy in our system, the reality is it's based on how big your team is. So the bigger you help us grow, the bigger you grow your team, the higher you rise in this hierarchy. So you enter at 30%, but you can rise based on your team size and productivity um, to as high as 80%. Let's say in this hypothetical, you're a director at 50%, and you've got a sizable team, uh, um, you're at 50%. That means that of the $1,200 that came over to the builder profit share payout pool or the bonus pool, you earn $600. So if Agent Bob, let me put this in direct perspective for you, if Agent Bob was hired by you, you're as a builder, you're going to earn, if you're 50% hypothetically, you're going to earn $600 from this transaction that Agent Bob closed because he is direct to you, you brought him on, he's your team member, you are his upline. The remaining or the other half of that adjusted gross, the, 12, the 2400, remember we split that in half, 1200 went to the bonus pool. The other 1200 is then split again in half. $600 goes to the owner, the branch owner. The other $600 goes to the corporate office. As I said, when you own a branch at ERS, you're in a 50-50 partnership with ERS corporate, as we affectionately refer to it. So I am a 50% partner. Uh, my branch, I own my branch with my wife, but our 50% partner is the corporation. So when transactions close, as you see in this hypothetical on the slide, as it's illustrated, we would split the adjusted, the second adjusted gross company dollar with the corporation 50%. 50. So looking at the example, um, the owner, the branch owner's profit payout is $1,200 in this example, $600 here 
and the split or share of the adjusted company dollar or company profit, $600 here in that automatic off the top 20% overhead to the branch reimbursement. A total of $1,200 to the branch owner. And again, over here, if you're a builder, depending on where you are in this hierarchy and based on your team size and so forth, this is what you would earn, either one of these figures. That is our compensation plan for the builders and owners. So let's look at how this all breaks down to where you might fit in this robust ERS opportunity. The agent income. So again, you, as I said, you can come here and be a top producing agent and you can earn from your own production. That means you earn. You go out there, you generate leads or you, you can even get company leads, but um, you're doing open houses or you're farming or whatever you may be doing to generate leads and prospects. You generate business uh, results in a closed transaction. You get paid a commission check as an agent in real estate, mortgage insurance or home services. Works again across the four industries. Let's say that you close one real estate deal and originate one loan. Let's say you're a true type A personality, you're a go-getter, you're aggressive, and you have your real estate license and your NMLS license enabling you to do mortgage and real estate. So you close one real estate deal and originate one loan in each month. That's going to result, just using round average numbers, in a $10,000 income if you're an agent selling a 60%, 65% split, just whatever your contract might be. These are good round numbers. Numbers in, in terms of what's actually real. It's actually somewhat conservative though. So I would think that if you're closing one uh, real estate deal and originating one loan per month, that number in terms of the income is probably going to be a little bit higher, but we're going to keep it at 10 for the purposes of this illustration. So that would be income of $10,000 per month times 12 months in a year gives you an annual income of $120,000. Not bad, but you've got to work for it. Let's look at the builder income, the B in the opportunity, the system. What if the builder recruits 10 producing real estate or loan agents? They override, and by the way, these 10 agents are doing what the agent above this in the illustration is doing. They're closing one deal per month on each side. So let's say that those 10 agents that you recruited in real estate and mortgage or perhaps even insurance, home services are selling solar and you're overriding that too. Let's say your override is $1,000 per agent. Well, times 10 agents in either one of the four industries, that's gonna equal an income for you as a builder, just earning an, a passive override income of $10,000. The income of $10,000 monthly times 12 months, again, is $120,000 a year. The big difference I hope you see is that the builder didn't have to hit the street to earn that money. The builder can be in Hawaii. The builder can be on a cruise to the moon in zero gravity. They're still earning that money. It doesn't stop. As an agent, you stop earning when you stop producing. You don't feel like getting up. You can't get up. You take a vacation. You don't earn for that month. The ownership income. Now, let's take this and just blow the roof off it or magnify it. The same 10 agents, because now remember, the owner doesn't just earn the override. The owner also earns that branch profit and that branch overhead in the comp system slide. Remember that. So as an owner, your income is increased per agent on the same 10 agents. So now your income is $3,000 per month per agent. Same 10 agents doing the same productivity. Income of $30,000 per month times 12 months. Now as an owner, that's $360,000 a year. And that's just 10 agents at a very modest production level. The reality is producing agents should be doing two to four transactions per month. On the home services side, some of these guys are out there doing 7 to 12 deals per month. So these numbers, as I said, and, and you must uh, agree, are extremely conservative for the industries we operate in. Very simply, how do, I, how do you get started? Fast. Now. One, connect with the person who invited you. Um, whoever invited you or turned you on to the webinar, give that person a call. Follow up. If they're here with you, talk to them afterwards. Circle up with them after the presentation. Get your questions answered. Namely, how do I get started? I love this. Man, I want to get my real estate license. I want to get uh, going with home services and selling solar right now. What do I have to do to do that? They can tell you. Step two, schedule your follow-up appointment with leadership right away. 
So the person that invited you, maybe they've only been with the company for a short time and they're loving it, they're making money, but you really need to speak with someone in leadership, maybe someone in their upline who can really break things down for you um, and help you administratively even to facilitate pre-licensing, sign up, and so forth. So get with the person who invited you, step one, step two, set your appointment for in follow-up to discuss and game plan your strategy moving forward immediately within, we like to say within 24 hours, but I'll say within 48. Step three is just go, start. Decide what your best fit is. Where do you think you fit in the ERS model, the opportunity, the business system? Think about that. Let our leadership help you decide what may be the best fit for you. Ultimately, you're going to make that decision, but allow us to help in game plan, strategize your immediate launch. Less than 10 minutes, really, realistically, to, to get started and build a part-time income that will grow and last a lifetime. Like I said, true legacy. Once you're in, you can start immediately. This is not something where, okay, where you're in, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, you've got to acquire this, you've got to get certified. Um, this is an opportunity you can start immediately. You can get involved right now. You can leave here tonight or today and get started. You can bring guests to this to the next business opportunity presentation we do to get your team growing and going immediately. Get signed up, get your pre-licensing courses, enrollment completed, and get started. Big advocate for getting started right away. So the question is, what will you do? I know what I did when I came here four years ago. What will you do? If you change nothing, then certainly nothing will change. If you're sitting here and you earn X and you want to earn Z or increase that to Z, if you don't change anything, then you're not likely to have that change in income. If you worked with another company, a business opportunity, and you built an organization to one level and you want to now experience an opportunity where you can build an organization that trumps that three, four, five times over, but you change nothing, then how do you expect that to occur? If you change nothing, if you do nothing, then certainly nothing will change. Thank you for your attendance. Uh, those online, I appreciate you as well. Thank you very much. Get with the person who invited you or, or turned you on to this webinar please and, and do something.